Welcome to the finale of Doom 2. Just the last few levels, and this is actually the last level that has a secret. The last two levels don't have any. By a secret, I mean several. There's not just one secret here, but there are none in the last two levels, is what I'm getting at. The secret is Maybelline. <laughs> the secret is vinegar. It's a really good song, too. Like, you feel like you're near the end of the game when you get to this point. This is also... Okay! <laughs> near your own end, that is. <sighs> Let's use a weapon that does not have splash damage and friendly fire. I also really like this level. It's pretty tough, but it's pretty varied as well. There's a lot of different pieces to this level, and I really enjoy it. Though it is kind of hard to find your way sometimes. I feel like for anybody going for a 100% kills run, that imp in the corner is just like the bane of their existence. I imagine it's easy to forget. That's what his friends told him. And that's why he sits in the corner alone. They all went out to a party without him. Yep. Oh. <laughs> There's a reason I just wound up and ran into that wall. There's a secret in this area where that's it's just a wall that you can clip through. And I thought that was it, but it wasn't, so I just broke my nose. The way it looked, when you hit the wall, the texture appeared, so it's like you left an impact. <laughs> I'm just that hard. Also, man, those stone spikes seems like a huge fucking pain in the ass. Oh, there it is. There we go. Yep. Actually, come to think of it, I don't think this is a secret. I think this is just a way to go. Weird. Yeah. Wondering how you're supposed to find that if you didn't already know. So there's something to do here. There we go. Shoot that, you get a rocket launcher. Shoot this, that opens that door. Shoot that, it opens that door. Or those ribs. Right, this is the way to go, because that red switch is actually the exit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> There's some holes in the ground that revenants are just chilling out in. I imagine it's like a spa. It looks like chickens flapping on the way out. <laughs> so as you can see, this room has some uh, clippable walls as well that people just keep walking out of. These are actually secrets, which is strange. Squeeze on through there, and down there is just a fucking nest of spider masterminds and arachnotrons. There's actually two spider masterminds over there you have to deal with, but you can't just make the spider mastermind a challenge. So there's like three invincibility spears down there. So. Pardon me. Oh, well. Forget what I said. Here we go. <laughs> I was appreciating that really garbage pain elemental placement. Just sitting there in the cage where it can literally not harm you in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why it's there. Well, of course, lost souls can't go through those bars, so. Yeah, there's nothing it can do. Yeah. It's like when you put a pain elemental in a level where there's already the maximum number of lost souls, where they just become flying, screaming douchebags that can't do anything. <laughs> this is a throne room. What happens when I sit on it? Lowers this, which is a secret, apparently. Hmm. Oh, not invincible anymore. I'm sure that won't cause any trouble. Let's press this. Oh, hell. Yeah, it's about how I feel, too. I'm Satan. <laughs> that didn't end well. Also, the, the design for this level is weird, because, like, there's two different places that are kind of progress that feel like they're secrets. Yeah. It's not as bad as the Citadel, 
where literally every way to go is a secret and is hard to find, but... Yeah, but those are even marked as secrets, and this they aren't. It's just... Yeah. You have to know to go through the wall or fall into that one specific spot. Yeah. This is a weird level, but it's overall fun, just because, like, it, it's just kind of dumb. Because it's got a lot more arch vials than you're used to in a Doom 2 level, and also the two spider masterminds, which are just as ineffective as every other spider mastermind. I like this level a lot. It definitely seems fun, it's just like, weird design. Yeah, it's, it's strange. Doom 2 overall is just, it's got a strange design philosophy. I think that it is because of the improved engine that can make levels bigger, Plus the fact that it's not episodic, so you don't need to make four first levels. So, ow! They just kind of did whatever the fuck they felt like. One thing I can say is the levels overall feel less natural. Like, Doom 1, weirdly enough, weirdly, a lot of the, most of the levels felt like actual places more so than this place. Even though they were actually basing the levels off of real places in, in the middle third there. No, no, it definitely seems like downtown to me. Exactly. To be fair, I feel like the Doom 1 levels, uh, especially Episode 1, obviously, had a lot better flow to them. I think so, too. The reason, like, beyond nostalgia, because it's one of the first games I ever played, the reason I look back on Doom 2 so fondly is mostly because of the enemies, because of how much strategy they add and how unique they are. Like, I... <laughs> Just getting in a fist fight with a skeleton. <laughs> God, ain't that a fucking way to spend a day. It's one of my favorite parts about the Revenant. He is the only enemy with a unique melee attack animation. God damn it! <laughs> this wasn't here earlier! Fucking hell. I appreciate that you were so angry you wasted an entire fucking BFG shot on it. I didn't want to deal with him. He was gonna resurrect the other Revenant. No, the, the Revenant! Oh, yeah. I was pissed. I, I didn't want to deal with him either. <laughs> wow, you were actually fairly close to par for once. Oh yeah, I was. That wasn't so bad, other than the fact that I died three times. Right. And with the spirit world over and us entering the living end, we have officially found every Doom 2 secret. Hey. There's none in this level. There's none in the next level. Hey, guys. I just found all the secrets. What do you guys think? No! I want more! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Just letting them, letting them have it out. <laughs> and there's a Revenant across, like, a mile away. He caught a whiff of you. The fucking Revenant. God, that's an ass Revenant right there. I also really like this level. It's more linear. You're like, you just kind of follow a path. There's not a lot of finding your way in this level, which I quite enjoy. And the fact that there's no secrets means I don't have to fucking deal with that either. Like, just humping everything. As you hump everything, anyway. I might, actually. I might, just out of habit, honestly. It's it's how the Doom guy marks his territory. It's like when a cat rubs their cheek on you. <laughs> Doom guy rubbing his... Instead of his balls, it's the fa his face he rubs on everything. And with that helmet, it's just like... It gets caught on fucking everything. Maybe if I didn't purposefully add scrapes to it, it wouldn't happen. Fuck off. Hi, where'd you come from? <laughs> Look, he just saw you were in the neighborhood and wanted to say hi. That Hell Knight looks lonely. Leave me alone. Let's give him some friends. They only stick around for a second, but oh boy, is that a second.
You know, it, it's every time where there's just silence followed by a revenant howl. It's just great. I love how, like, if you make them flinch, it interrupts their fucking opening scream. <laughs> For, like, every single enemy, this happens. And it's the best fucking thing. Why am I... I don't know why I used the chain gun against those guys. Why not? Because I have quite a few cells. I could have just BFG'd them and taken, like, a fourth of the time. It's, it's, it, do it doesn't matter. Hey, boys. Well, that one dropped. So we press that button, and we're waiting for that to raise. So, uh... You guys chew any good bubble gum lately? I haven't chewed gum in like a decade, actually. <laughs> now that I think about it... <laughs> <laughs> Where... What have I been doing? <laughs> what is gum? What have I been chewing? Have you guys licked any good walls? <laughs> Delicious. Shit. You try. Oh. oh my god, it falls so fast. <laughs> it's like when you're first introduced to Darth Vader when he's like rising up on that platform. Then it just like zooms him to the ground, <laughs> like falls <laughs> forward. <laughs> I think that's how Darth Vader's introduced. I don't know anything about Star... Any st I don't know anything about a Star War or two. Well, for one, he walks out of a door, but okay. Oh. I thought, like, in, in Episode 3, like, when they introduced the suit, he's like, bah, 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 on, like, a, a, a hospital bed. <laughs> I guess that just shows how much I know about Star Wars. You know what? Uh, it's probably for the best. What did that do? Find out next time. By next time, I mean next second. It opens up uh, this area over here. See, there are a few branches here, but th this level is largely linear, which is a, a good change of pace, I'd say. I do, of course, greatly appreciate Doom's non-linearity, but it's so non-linear to the point where you, when you reach a linear level, it's just kind of nice. Like, yeah, I don't, I'm not lost. It's great. Please stop. Damn, this Archvile is taking a beating. It's a good place to get this. Yeah. I could have punched out the Archvile if I tried hard enough. Just repeatedly punch him in the dick. <laughs> That'll show him. Fuck. Get me out of here. Alright, let's try that again. There we go. Slowly make our way to the switch. Which opens up the next area just down the hall here. It's just me! Can't you see? Just a room with a teleporting Baron. As if we didn't see that in the fifth level. Look, they're very proud of that teleporting Baron, alright? Just wanna make sure I got everything. Oh god. <laughs> and now you get everything. One Revenant with his zombie lackeys. Oh. Oh, this part. This might be my least favorite part because of these fucking platforms. You're gonna, you're gonna fucking see why. Will we be surprised? No. Are you surprised by this zombie that won't move? <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, it actually worked this time. Yeah. All right. So, essentially go from left to right. Each side has a switch that you're going to want to press that will help you progress in the next little hallway. Press this button. Run back. There's a little lift right there, or you could just jump. Let's go down the middle. Got a revenant to fuck around with. Fuck. No. No. Oh god, the lift is so far away. Shit. I can't believe that you didn't have any problems with this one. Oh, no, not at all. The chasm's a great level. <laughs> <laughs> the citadel's my house now. I've come to accept it. <laughs> Alright. Let's deal with this revenant like an adult. Fuck! By falling in the lava. <laughs> just, just load the game. Fuck it. An adult's cry. Alright. Make our way back. It's okay, that's a lift. What? what? Oh, that shotgun guy may have hurt me. Alright. We've got this this time. This revenant's like nothing. Like nothing. Cool. Awesome. Made it past that part. We're home free, practically. Not gonna save. No. Because I know we're home free. Mm hmm Actually, the next area you gotta go to is a little bit over to the right there, because there's a wall blocking here. But let's do go ahead and deal with this Baron first. It's a great idea. Quote Todd Howard, it's a great idea. Cool. All right. Let's go where we're supposed to go. F Congrats on being home free. <laughs> ah, we're good. Let's let's go the right way. Over here, gotta kill this mancubus. Jump over here. Save first. That button is our fucking button to salvation. That'll lower the wall, and then you climb up here. Frame rate dips a bit. Fucking yeah. All right. Frame rate dips a bit. Jump over here, back to where you were, and now you can get to that Baron with the final switch. She's practicing his jogs, it's okay. Alright, cool, we got this. Fire! Ah, I did it, okay? <laughs> wow, you didn't fall at all. How, you no. just got back up there, nice. I didn't fall, not even a little bit. And now this is where that Revenant was sniping us at the beginning of the level. We're on the other side of that pit now. So I can't believe you did a sick Doom 2 edge cancel. <laughs> and up here, there's the exit, but there's also a Cyber Demon. And you know my rule. If there's a Cyber Demon, I kill it. It's fuck. <laughs> or it kills you. <laughs> All right. Literally, you could run right past this cyber demon. That hole over there behind me is the exit. This might be the most useless cyber demon in the game. I say as he's killed me twice, but my point stands. You don't need to kill him. Man, if only you had a spider mastermind to kill it for you. Yeah, that'd be great. I mean, oh, I was about to say she lost last time, but she didn't. No, she won all three times. <laughs> I guess it's about time to point out that we recorded part, like, seven three times because of various errors. <laughs> None of them were my fault, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not one of them. Alright, that's the living end. Time to move on to map 30, the Icon of Sin. And could you possibly guess this is the final boss? With the spooky Wii Woo music. Not to be confused with spooky Wii U music. Alright, let's head to it. But first, let's save. We're, I'm actually going to save twice. Because after the final boss is over, there's uh, one little bit more bit that we're going to be seeing. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> Alright, here we go. There's the Icon of Sin. Really, that's, that's the Icon of Sin? Yeah, big old wall texture. 
So this is how it works. Out of its forehead, it shoots these cubes. When the cube lands, it will spawn an enemy. What you have to do first is make your way all the way to the top here, while the Icon of Sin continuously spawns its enemies. That will lower, a, that, or that will raise rather, a pillar here on the bottom with the damaging floor. Once it reaches all the way to the top, you will have the ability to lower it back down and then ride it up. You have to shoot the Icon of Sin in its forehead with three rockets to finish him off. But the very top of this little pillar is not directly adjacent to where the hole is. So you're going to have to do it by shooting him just before you make it all the way to the top or when you're jumping down like this. And that's how you know you hit him. He'll scream. This is not a hard boss, but I am awful at it. I am just shit at this boss, but I cannot say it's hard. That does sound weird. Like, was it supposed to be that way? Yes. Like, it's just not enough space? I'm pretty sure, because if it was here, you could just fire your rocket three times and then you'll win. And that's just not hard at all. So I imagine they've had a little bit of an offset just to kind of make it less easy. But we did it! Man, I've been wrong all along. I thought the icon of sin is what I see every time I see Nekopara in my Steam library, but I guess I was wrong. You finally got under par. At last. Yeah, holy shit! <laughs> I'm so proud. What a great way to cap off this fucking video! So, um, one thing I want to mention, Thorne, a few parts ago, like, part three or something, you mentioned, you asked if there was ways to use the Archviles' damage to sequence break. Technically, there is. The Archviles are the least likely enemy to spawn in the Icon of Sin. They have, like, a 7% chance of spawning. But, if you get, like, a bunch of them, and they all attack you at once, it's possible for them to launch you, essentially, into the Icon of Sin's head, and have the blast damage from them kill the Icon of Sin. <laughs> Thus killing him with uh, without ever actually shooting him, thus doing it in a pacifist run. But it's only been done by tool assist, so it's, it hasn't actually been done because the odds are ridiculous. Yeah, that sounds like something where you would need to keep the game running up to now for the odds to happen. Yeah, exactly. But now we get a little roll call of all of our friends. Fist bump. Not that fist. <laughs> The demon, which is its real name, which is dumb, because everything here is a demon. Yeah, that's especially a demon. It's a meatball! I like with the Kako demon, it doesn't actually have a moving animation, so it's just a static image. Ah, fuck. Ah, I see. The Baron of Hell is just a Hell Knight with a sunburn. <laughs> yeah. The sunburn gives him power to survive twice as many rockets. Look at that big eye. That is the shape of a friend. Also, it's a Kakademon with hands. Yeah, that's it's based on the Kakademon sprite, essentially. Come on and dance with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fat jacked. My good manky buddy. My belly is also my balls. Uh, speaking of balls... Be holding the dick one more time. Friend in confidant, the spider mastermind. Yeah. The one who knows what you did. The undisputed boss fight champion. Despite every downside she has, she's still the champ. And finally, there's us. It's so piddly. <laughs> Our good friend Doom Guy is dead. There we go. Rest in peace. So while we run through and kill everybody one more time, there is one more thing I wanted to show off here. It is perhaps the most infamous e Easter egg in Doom. So once we get through to everybody, we're going to go back to the Icon of Sin, use a little bit of cheating magic, and uh, see what exactly that's talking about. Most people will know, but for those who don't, 
it is a delightful little thing that we're gonna see here. It's great. Let's finish off Cyber Boy. We kill ourselves, load back in. Listen to what the icon of sin says. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that means. Let's go ahead and reverse it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and activate our invincibility cheat. Spawn back in. Activate no clip and go through the wall here. It's so good. In, behold, John Romero's head on a stake. <laughs> He's the true final boss of all, with his little, like, pouty lip. I couldn't chainsaw him for some reason. I thought you could. John Romero scream trans rights. <laughs> if you slow down the icon of Sin's screams, that's what he's actually saying. <laughs> and with that, we have defeated the actual final boss of Doom 2. We've gotten all the secrets, and we've stopped hell on Earth at last. Let's get the fuck out of here. So, what'd you guys think? Well, it was Doom. It certainly was. Looking back, I think most people agree that Doom 1 is the more solid game, but Doom 2, like I said earlier, the enemies are amazing. I cannot imagine a world where Doom did not introduce enemies like the Revenant, like the Pain Elemental, the Archvile, the Chain Gunner. They're all, they all add so much. Like, even the Hell Knight. It's just a reskin, but it's that nice mid-tier enemy that the game was really missing, I think. Like, what Doom 2 added and achieved is, I think, kind of greater and kind of overshadows the actual quality of the game, which is, Thorne's right, it's more Doom. It was certainly Doom. It, it didn't make any gigantic leaps in game design. I feel like it might have overstayed its welcome a bit, but a world where Doom 2 didn't exist is a world where Doom was just a lesser franchise, I think, because it just did so much that helped the series. I was always happy when a Revenant showed up. Yeah. Because <laughs> they were so upset at you. <laughs> Doom 2 gave us the fan favorites, the Pain Elemental and the Archfile. How bad could it be? Yeah, everyone loves the Pain Elemental and Archfile. Nobody hates them. Not a single person. How bad could it be? <laughs> <laughs> I love having a room flooded with the most annoying enemy in the game all the time. But like I said in episode one, all the new enemies, I love them, hate them, and can't imagine life without them. Oh. Oh. But the Revenant runs up to the camera. We just found a clue. <laughs> <laughs> we just got a ligament. <laughs> got a li <laughs> Wonder who it's from. <laughs> it is funny seeing how much Eternal pulls from this game. Yeah. Eternal very much felt like Doom 2-2. Like, even with its music, it borrowed a lot of music from Doom 2. And a lot of the Doom 2 enemies that were not in Doom 2016 were added and then just made even fucking worse. But we'll get to Doom Eternal when we get to Doom Eternal. Much like Doom 2, also, the Doom Eternal levels are much larger for no discernible reason. Yeah. I love spending two to three hours on a single level. But we're not going straight to Doom 2016 next, though, right? We are not. Before I actually end off this LP, I wanted to talk about the game we're not playing, Final Doom. Uh, it was essentially an expansion. I don't know the full story. It was not directly made by id. I think it was made by some people in the Doom community that eventually became uh, its own Doom game. There's two episodes, TNT Evolution, which is just kind of more Doom 2. It's just a bunch of fine levels. Then there's the Plutonia Experiment, which is the hardest commercial Doom game, hands down. It's also fucking garbage. Yeah, I watched Civi 11s video on the Plutonia experiment. I haven't played it myself, and if I haven't made it clear, I'm not going to LP Final Doom. I might stream some of it, but I, I wouldn't get my hopes up. 
it's filled with the level design that I kept saying that I hated, where you just throw a bunch of fucking revenants and archviles into a room and then just call that challenge. I hate that shit. And that's why that's what that's the main reason I'm not going to be LPing Final Doom. Also that and it doesn't really introduce anything new. It's just more Doom 2. That said, the next game, Dorn's right. We're not going straight to Doom 2016 from here. We've said before we're skipping Doom 3, but there is one more stop on the Doom train before we reach the newer reboots. So join us next time for perhaps the most unique game in the series, the black sheep of the family, Doom 64. Is it? I've heard good things about Doom 64. It's Doom 3 that's the black sheep. Well, it's a numbered sequel, so at least people remember it more, or remembered it more. Doom 64 is more of a cult classic, and it, of course, recently got re-released on modern platforms for the first time ever. So, we're going to be taking a look at that, seeing if those who missed out were truly missing out on something really cool. Spoilers, they were. It's really good. But bring a flashlight. Please, raise the brightness on your screen. Do two dank tank donk tonk dunk tonk dingle tingleton dummy tummy the cheats cheat vengers and Moses Malone land doom two. <laughs>